The uses and benefits of fabric architecture. Making a statement. It's undeniable that a well-designed fabric structure can make a big statement. The construction of London's Millennium Dome, Denver International Airport and Ashford Designer Outlet all include iconic tensile fabric structures for exactly this purpose. The fabric is incredibly useful within building design because it lets you bring bespoke dynamic shapes to an otherwise rudimentary structure. It also provides a good plateau for brand image and branding as well as a focal point. The entrance canopy at the venue in Bristol is a great example of how a tensile fabric structure can be practical whilst creating an eye-catching centrepiece, conveying a corporate identity and transforming an otherwise regular building into something a little more special. Its size and depth provide coverage for cinema goers and passers-by to shelter from the inclement British weather. But in addition, note how the sculptural eye-catching form and colour-changing lighting make it stand out against the other boxy buildings. Whether it's an entrance canopy, an artistic sculpture, or a piece of point-of-sale material, the principle is the same. Tensile fabric structures allow creativity and practicality. Solar control. Curtains and blinds are the traditional ways of using fabric to control light transmission, but they are not the most exciting or the most creative. As architects look for more interesting ways to introduce light into a space, we look for ways in which that light transmission can be controlled, diffused and reflected. Light reflectors and diffusers can direct sunlight deeper into a building, replacing or supplementing daytime energy. Combining a practical application with an aesthetic element is a key benefit of using tensile fabrics. Take this structure at the BBC offices for an example. These lampshade style structures are formed using a lightweight framework and stretch fabric. They diffuse the direct sunlight and provide soft illumination for the space below. When the sun goes down, the same fabric structures can achieve startling results with uplights or backlighting. And in addition to this functionality, the aligned forms are a visual feature in themselves. Temporary installations. While fabric structures can last over 30 years, some fabrics lend themselves particularly well to being mounted and demounted again and again. Fabrics which are suitable for this application are used for everything from small exhibition canopies to the large-scale temporary installations erected for the London 2012 Olympics. Well, I think the fabric structures are great for temporary use because they are very quick to install and deinstall. Um, the equipment to do that sort of work is not particularly complicated or onerous. Some fabrics lend themselves particularly well to temporary use. However, if it's constantly going up and down and being stored, then we have to think about the design in a different way. The fabric panels are smaller to ease storage and ease installation. And often the foundations or the way that we deal with the loads has to be changed. This canopy, constructed every year for the Holland Park Opera season, is designed to be dismantled at the end of the summer and stored through the winter. As a result, the weight, size and number of steel columns supporting the structure were minimised. Much of the support comes from tie-down cables. The fabric is a flexible PVC coated polyester, made up of panels limited in size to allow for easy handling and storage. In this case, the structure is designed to impose no loads on the existing buildings, so all ballast comes from permanent foundations. For tensile fabric structures which are relocated time and time again or where foundations are not viable, ground anchors and water or sand ballast can also be used. Fabric architecture is particularly suited to many commercial and leisure schemes where a project life of 20 or 30 years suits the overall life of the project before it becomes outdated and needs redevelopment.